Joining us is Justin Lehman. He's a physical therapist with Centera RMH. Uh, Justin, what does a physical therapist do? A physical therapist um, evaluates and diagnoses any type of movement dysfunction, um, any type of pain a patient may have, or even sees patients post-surgery. Okay, so why is physical therapy such an important part of the recovery process after an injury or surgery? It's very important because there's, you may have some restrictions on your surgery. Um, coming out of a rotator cuff surgery, you may not be able to lift your arm so high. So a therapist will be there to make sure, one, you're following restrictions, but also to help you regain function of that arm, um, try to get it strong, but also be safe about using it. So there isn't any f further injury as you're recovering? Correct, yes. Okay. okay. Um, what kind of education and training do successful therapists have? All therapists go through four years of school um, and then three years of physical therapy school. So we have a total of seven years. Some may, um, it changed about 10 years ago. Um, everybody was, has a master's degree, now everybody has a doctorate degree. And some of those with masters are now transitioning to doctorates. So we have extensive education and then beyond that, there's some therapists that are, be, are able to be board certified. So um, a lot of our therapists at Centera have orthopedics um, certifications and that's a national board recognized and I myself am sports clinical specialist. Okay, um, how do you choose a physical therapist? Um, talk to a friend. A lot of people have had physical therapy. Um, there's resources online. Every physical therapy um, place has a website, so you can go on and look up profiles. And, but it's important to find out because there are so many different avenues of therapy that, you know, if you need a orthopedic physical therapist, make sure that they have orthopedic background in them. Some people need a neurological physical therapist. So there's different types, so it's important to do your background work on who you're choosing as your physical therapist. Are those the two types, or how many types of physical therapists are there? Oh, there's multiple types. There's pediatric, there's um, geriatric, inpatient therapy, acute setting therapy. There's probably 10 types of therapists. So is there certain, are there certain questions you should ask depending upon your, your, your need, or how do you actually, or will you see that on the website when you're looking for a physical therapist? Usually if you find somebody's profile, they'll have it listed. Um, if you go to the American Board of Physical Therapy Association, they will let you know who these specialists are. You can find names on there and what their specialties are in. Okay, and wh what do you say to someone who says, well, I don't need physical therapy, I'll just let it rest. I mean, rest can be helpful, but there's also need to restore? Yes, usually somebody's rest is not doing much at all. Letting it just relax and not move it at all. It's very important to continue to move your arm, move your leg, whatever needs to be moved and not just let it rest because then you could start to lose mobility of that body part. All right, very good. Justin Lehman, uh, physical therapist with Centera RMH. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.